Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Salavrakos. Now for the non-attached members, Mr. Steidler for a minute and a half. The President. President, I would like to respond to colleagues Kukin and Tarnock. I, too, am in favour of the abolition of the death penalty right across the world, but if we call for it in Iran, we actually have to call for it right across the board. And we also have to include countries that carry out tortures, such as the United States of America, because here people in their military prisons are being tortured. There are Senate reports on this subject where to talk about it quite openly. So here the US is supposed to be developing an independent policy on Iran, but that basically means that we have to go back to diplomacy because sanctions and threats against Iran have not actually achieved anything because here if we're talking about a return to the diplomatic level I think that the time is ripe to adopt such an approach if in the European Union we continue to pursue our own nuclear policy and make use of nuclear energy we have to allow Iran to do so as well. I'm personally opposed to the use of nuclear energy even for peaceful purposes. So really we have to allow Iran to use nuclear energy if we use it ourselves. So if we're talking about an autonomous policy towards Iran on the part of the EU, we have to look at Iran as a regional power in and including it in the Syria settlement debate in Geneva. So here I think that we should not be excluding their participation because of their role as a regional power from the very outset. And under po I reject point five because it's just neo-colonialism. If we open an EU representation in Iran to bring influence to bear on domestic policy in that country. Thank you, Mr. Stadler. Now we come to other speakers, starting with Mr. Lizek for a minute and a half. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Minister, a few weeks ago, the Polish Foreign Minister Radosław Sikorski